doing? First off, thank you all for coming. You know, get a chance hopefully to, you know, take in practice. And, you know, right now, whatever questions you all have, you know, I'll do my best to make sure I answer for you all. Dante, what's just this feel like out here, your first day as head coach? Uh, to be honest, it feels great. You know, I'm more grateful for the opportunity that uh, Dr. Fold, you know, Mike and Brandon have, you know, given me the opportunity. But, you know, the, the biggest thing also to, to touch on that is these players, you know, like they're, they're out here competing, you know, they're going hard, uh, the coaches. So everybody has embraced the opportunity that we all have set for, for us. And, uh, you know, our biggest thing is about going 1-0 and today. What has your message been to the team about how to handle this transition the last couple of days? Uh, really, we're focused on right now. So what happened yesterday happened yesterday. It's about right now. You can't change the past. And uh, right now, you got a chance to see how these guys came out here and flew around competing. Right? The energy was high. And uh, I'm thankful, like I say, for these guys that we have on this team. Dante, how long are you able to clean up the demonstrations? How do you do that? How do you fix that? Uh, to, to be honest, just making sure that we touch on every little thing. You know, we pay attention to all the little details. And, you know, that's what we're focused on right now. The coaches, I see right now, a guy makes the littlest mistake. The coaches make sure they get on, right? Whether that's taking a guy out for a play, whether that's taking a guy out for a quarter, whether that's taking a guy out for a game. And we're going to make sure that we clean up every little thing that we see. Uh, to be honest, my message is just go one and all about everything we do. Life is all about competing, right? So competing, you know, make sure we, the way we eat, like the way we train, the way we run, just every little thing we do about competing, about going one and all in that. So, you know, that's pretty much my message. We go one and all today. If you go out here and compete against somebody else and you win your one on one, and you look at the end of the day and the practice is over, and you sit up here and won 100 reps to zero, then you know what's going to happen on Saturday. To be honest, great. I mean, you see guys out here right now smiling, flying around, so they focused on right now. And that's all we can do. Uh, you know, I, I've been fortunate to be around a lot of good head coaches, whether that's, you know, Mike Riley, uh, Rich Rodriguez, you know, uh, I mean, you just you just name it. You go down the list. And I've, I've been fortunate, Chris Alt, right, uh, to be around a lot of guys. So it's been a lot of guys that have already reached out to me to help me, you know, in this journey that's, that's starting today. You see also the practice yeah. plan much? Say again? Did you alter the practice plan much for today? Uh, you know, we, we altered a couple things. Uh, you know, to, to come out here and just do the things that we need to do to succeed in this game. That's what it's about, to do the things that, you know, we need to get ready to prepare for Washington State, which is a good team, right? So we have our hands full. So we did what we had to do today to prepare for them. Dante, what does, it, what does it mean to you to be, you are the first black coach at U in USC football? What does that mean? Uh, you know, to be honest, it's a humble, humble, humble thing because uh, there's been a lot of guys before me that was probably, you know, that probably did more than I've done to have the opportunity. So it's not just about, you know, me per se. It's about a lot of guys that came before me. It's a lot of guys that will come after me. So it's about making sure I, I do what's best for this team, for this university, for this community. And that's what I'm going to do. John, you talk about liking to be on the field to deliver the players in the eyes. Are there other coaching changes we'll be making in that regard as well? Uh, yes, you know, we added uh, Michael Hutchison, who uh, played here, right? Played here, was a team captain here. He's been a GA here, graduate assistant, he's been in quality control, so we promoted him to linebacker's coach. How does Anybody your day-to-day... -day? Anybody else out of the booth coming down with you? Uh, no, uh, Hutch will stay up there. Um, you know, we have another graduate assistant that will move up to the box, and we'll continue with operation. How is your practice schedule different now as a head coach versus what you did as a quarterback's coach? As far as the practice schedule? No, like your practice duties, in terms uh, of where you're watching? Completely your... different. I mean... You know, you come out here, usually I was worried about, you know, my particular position group. Now I'm worried about the team, right? You know, no matter what, if it was one-on-ones or the team periods, I was always rooting for my guys. That's where it should be. It's competitive. And now to come out here and cheer on the offense when they make a big-time play, that's a little different. That's something, you know, I've never experienced. So I never got so happy when a receiver caught a ball and a quarterback made a perfect throw. But, you know, that happened today. You know, and I'm, I'm grateful, like I said, for these guys. And I was out here pretty much watching the offense a lot more than defense. You know, I, I pretty much have a, a great handle on what the defense is doing. Uh, right now, you know, I, I'll be lying to you saying I know everything, right? I, I pretty much want to know exactly what the offense is doing from a verbiage standpoint. It's one thing to play against our offense, another thing to truly know their verbiage. So, 
you know, I'm learning as we go from our offensive coaches, and they're doing a great job of teaching me. When you stand there watching the offense, what things are you looking for besides the way the uh, You know, really, that's the biggest thing, the verbiage, uh, personnel, right? Just seeing how we conduct our day-to-day -day operations, because I never truly got a chance to see the way they conduct their operations. So I've been so much with the defense. So just to see how Indies ran, to see, you know, what they're just doing period by period. And those guys today looked great to me. They looked phenomenal. So. And the energy was really, really high on offense, and they was moving around. That's what I expect. Okay, what makes you have input on that side of the ball on game day? Say that again. And what makes you have like input on that side of the ball on game day? Uh, it's input pretty much for the whole team. I mean, that's that's the responsibility that you know they they stored on me. And you know, like I said, these coaches and players have full confidence in me, just like I have confidence in them. So we're gonna work hand in hand in this. You know, it's not the Dante Williams show, right? It's the USC show. So we're working this all together. It's no I or me, right? It's us and we. And that's what, you know, the whole message is. It's us and we. What we're going to do. Not what I'm going to do. What we're going to do. When you, started, when you started your coaching career, was being a head coach always kind of at the top of your list? Uh, uh, to be honest, when I started in junior college, being a head coach was not something I thought about. Uh, to be honest, when I started coaching, I didn't know if I wanted to coach. I still wanted to play. So, <laughs> you know, somebody talked me into it. And then from there, I love the fact that I was able to help other people achieve their goals instead of me achieving myself. As a player, sometimes you, you've grown to be a little selfish, right? When you start becoming a coach, you have to put yourself to the side. It's not about me no more. It's about these young men, making sure they get their degrees, making sure they do what they need to do on a day-to-day -day operations. Because it's a lot bigger than football. It's about making sure that they grow as young men and they get their degrees. Have you, have you thought about the prospect of potentially being the long-term permanent coach here? Uh, like I say, I'm worried about today, right? I have full faith in USC that they'll do, you know, make the best decision, make the right choice for these athletes, right, for these student athletes. And I, I have full fledged, you know, trust that they will do that. So I'm about going one and all today. We're going to do one more question. From a scouting perspective, what are you, what are you expecting to see from Marcus State? Uh, I mean, on film, you know, definitely on offense, they come out here, they throw the ball around, but everybody sees them spread out, but yet they're running the ball just as much as they're passing it, right? Quarterback, gunslinger, right? I mean, it's me, an awesome quarterback in this conference. They have a couple guys out there receiver that can run around, right? Great tailback, right? The old line's athletic, they pass block well, and on defense, they have a couple guys that are playmakers. I mean, they got a four-year or five-year starting middle linebacker. So, I mean, just that, it, you know, as a whole, they have great leadership. We're going up there, you know, to their house. The weather's not the best. So just different things like that is to, you know, stacked against us. But yeah, we're going to prevail and we're going to show that we're USC. Thank you, Coach. Thank you.